a little set, a little cocktail set. Right, here we go. Oh, so here we go. Can you look at that? Cocktail pit. Right? Nice. I don't think we've had anybody do two cameras before. You're, you're taking this to a new level of production. Mate, this is lockdown two, man. Like, <laughs> there's going to be a full rig in here before before uh, before COVID's end. There right? you go. So I'm trying to point out. To do this thing now so this is this is my community punch and the inspiration behind this is a couple of different drinks that this is going to taste nothing like when i've when i've finished um bastardizing it so i'm just uh i'm really just here to upset bartenders um <laughs> but basically what i've done is i've taken a, a corn a corn and oil and a and the tea punch, and um, I just got I just got through telling somebody that you, you you can't do anything other than a tea punch can only ever be a tea punch, right? Literally means small punch. But I'm taking uh, elements of that drink to incorporate into what I'm making now. Um, and the reason that I chose these drinks is because neither of them belong to anybody, right? These are literally the original community drinks for sure right so the tea punch is simply is simply a a drink that is drunk on in the, in the, in martinique it's a super popular drink but it doesn't belong to a bartender it doesn't belong to a bar and the corn and oil again is one of the drinks of barbados and it's similarly nobody can claim it nobody can be the can claim that they own it so it's just a drink that was made popular by the people and so i couldn't think of a better i couldn't think of a better base for this so i'm just throwing in here got about 20 mils of of lime and what i'm also doing is i'm throwing in these lime husks into the tin i am going to add about 40 mils of this delicious Appleton eight-year-old rum. Mm. Well done on that one, Joy. We had her on a couple months back. It was amazing. She's she she's amazing. Yes. She's wow. incredible. And um, I've got this uh, sugar cane. So I'm not just using a regular sugar syrup. I'm using this Trois Rivières sugar cane syrup, which just had a bit more of that molasses aspect to it and it's going to be just 10 of that give me and then the world famous for learnum and again it's just going to be 10 mils of this And then my favorite aspect to it, just to mess it up, is to add some cloudy pressed pear juice because I'm just in love with it. And I don't I don't think pear gets enough shine in the cocktail industry. Especially good for the fall. Right, there you go. So get yourself appropriate, man. Right. So I've just thrown about 25 pear in there. Do -do -do -do. Now I'm going to close up my tin. Make sure I haven't left anything out, which is typical typically why I would do. Um, and just giving it just a real quick shake. So I'm not trying to really to do too much in the way of dilution. I just want to make sure the drink's nice and cold. And we're just gonna dump it. Look at that cocktail pit and everything. There you go. Right. Beautiful. Right. 
I shook it in there because I just wanted some of, the, some of the oils. I wanted it to be a little tea punchy in that regard. And then just a dash of bitters. It, I know in my picture I had a pretty little uh, lime lime wheel, but the lime husk has fallen so perfectly. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna run with that. Um show the picture again here. Look at that. Give it a little give it a little go. Nice. Love that glass. I need one of those. Mm. That looks straight out of Wildwood. Bruv, I gotta tell you, this is banging. This is delicious beverage. <laughs> That's a good a drink. Seriously. Don't let anybody tell you you're not a don't, bartender, man. Don't let don't let the way I made don't let the may I don't let the way I made it sway you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a professional drink made badly, but um, mm. wow, that's good. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, we're gonna come back to you if you want to get your your other camera back on for a goodbye. Yeah. We're gonna get to our five questions here. Yeah, let me let me switch back because yeah, take your time. 